Alright, hey. It is day three? I think I already said that. I don't know. It's day three. And we're currently on our way to find support um, to get more supplies and finish our hike. We have one full day left, and then Friday. I think it's Wednesday. Anyway. But we're going through. We're almost to the parking lot where we're gonna um, wait for support to bring us some stuff. Yeah. Dylan, huh? Are you also gonna make a video out of all the recordings you made? Oh, uh, yeah. Sweet. I'm gonna like combine them all. I'll have Richard and then we'll have Dylan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Yeah, it's been fun. I could use a shower. <laughs> a good shower. But it's still been very enjoyable on the far side. Yeah. Hi. 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 <laughs> Here on the other side. We don't care about water. Keep going. It looks like there's some fish. Or, no, frogs. Oh my gosh, are those frogs? Where? They're like hey guys, moving across. Keep going till we reach. Walk up like, until we reach some better clearing so I can oh, get Oh wow. Again. I think those are Wait, We're I want to see some salmon. Do you think this will break if we. I, I guess I was too. Well, I was too much pain for you. Where are the salmon? There's some in there. Most of them are dead. It's in one direction. One direction. Excuse me. One direction. Sorry, Amy. What's up? You didn't. Um, Shut uh, All right. Val Valeria, I uh, do girls who code. Is oh, I did code with Fox. Code with Fox. Different. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was just some raw footage. I'm not going to give you guys too much commentary, so. She also does, like, computer science education for women. You can enjoy the feels of the moment. I'm going to do the whole thing. What is that rumbling sound? They come in and Oh, okay. Sorry for the jolts. Sorry, All right, I'm going to sign off now because I can't see anything. we got to go across this road. Say hello to the world, guys. Should have brought, like, a say hello. Hi. Amy's right there. Abe, say hi. Hey. Anyway, this is the view. Right here, of the mountains and the lake. I should probably I'm take off my pack. But look at it. This is the summit of the mountain. And it's kind of beautiful. Hey guys, let's get our lunch break. Do you want apple, dried apples at all? Yeah. I got all the food right yeah. now. That's my group. Anyway, it's been a very uh, taxing hike up here. It's a little more difficult than I anticipated. Just because things got a little more difficult to carry going up, but hey, we made it. Huh? I'm actually going to make a little shade thing because I can't do the sun right now. But thanks for the offer. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're about to have lunch up here. A little picnic, like, type thing. So, yeah. It's actually really nice. It's, like, really quiet. I think that's some sort of, like, observatory thing that you can go to and enjoy. But, yeah. I survived hiking up the Appalachian slash other trails to the top of Mount Greylock. <laughs> A little tired, but that's what lunch is for, so... The breeze feels so nice. I think I have my yeah. apple and orange, I think. 
Hey, Richard, you want to split that orange now? Richard, what? you want to split that orange now? Yeah, sir. Okay. Can you peel it? Yeah. So All right. Adios. Okay, so this is called innovation. <laughs> um, I took my little pack thing. Way to cross my walking stick. Made a little shade because it's hot. I'm standing on top of the mountain. In my journal, I'm going to write a little bit. Enjoy the sun. Have water. Because, you know, it's hot out here. <laughs> And the view. Here's the view. There's a lot of bugs around here. Grasshoppers and gnats and bees. Look. Slightly. You know something? Okay, so another one of those inspirational talk things. So I was uh, two days ago. In the morning I was reading the Bible. And I read a verse. You know the thing about um, Jesus leaving the other day. For those of you who don't know, there's a verse in the Bible. I don't remember where because I kind of just opened my Bible and found it. But... It talks about God's love being so strong that he, um, it's like if you were a shepherd of a hundred sheep and you were the one sheep that got lost, you would leave the 99 to go find you. And that was in fact, and, um, I was reading the King James Version because that Bible is like smaller for me to take, <laughs> actually, on the trip, it's less weight, but um, it said that he left the 99 in the wilderness and went after the one. And I was like, wow, that's so cool. <laughs> by the way, I'm holding this up. Innovation doesn't always work, by the way. First time is not the best time. It was actually the tenth time, but that's besides the point. The point is, um, I was reading it, and I was talking about um, him leaving the 99 in the wilderness, and um, even just walking through the wilderness with my group, you kind of realize that it's not just leaving them. The wilderness is a place that if you don't have a guide, you're lost. Not just lost, but you're stuck. You don't know where to go. You don't have a way to go. And you're kind of like bereft without a guide to lead you anywhere. So what the verse is saying is that he literally left the 99 sheep in the wilderness without a leader in the middle of nowhere with no way to go, no way to know where to go, and also susceptible to every um, danger in the wilderness, and then went after the sheep. That one sheep whose rebellious was supposed to cause it being lost. So that was just interesting to me. It just shows like the power of God's love. That's like a shepherd who would literally, and also those 99 sheep, they could so easily be lost after you leave them. <laughs> so that sacrifice is literally a personal sacrifice of your own like wealth and livelihood, leaving your 99 sheep just for one. You have to like really love that sheep. Because to leave the other 99 just for one is to say that the one is extremely valuable. And that's something I don't think people think about a lot. Because they think it's like, oh yeah, you just leave the 99 on the hillside and go after the one that wandered away. No, it's not like that. It's literally as if you had 10 people. No. Somebody's under there. Yeah. Having fun? Yeah. Enjoying the shade. Is that the shade? Yeah, I just made a little shade thing here. That's a great thing. For you. <laughs> Thank you. But um, it's like taking a hundred people, and you are the only one leading them, and they have no idea where to go, and you're the only guy that they have, and you leave ninety nine of them for one rebellious one who ran away because they were bored, and you left them in the middle of the forest with no training, no skills, no way to survive at all, and you go after the one because you love them that much. It's kind of crazy. Anyway, that was that. <laughs> Adios. Look, it's Keely and JTAG. Yeah. Hello. How'd you enjoy your time? Pretty good. Sitting by the mountain. <laughs> That's a really good vlogger too. Thanks. Subscribe guys. <laughs> Are you going to actually upload it to YouTube? Yeah, eventually. But. Isn't that cool? Not that they're over 18! They're not minors! Where's Katie? Looking all cool. <laughs> but, yeah, I think it's really cool. It's just a thought. Oh, this is a good song. Mirror, Justin Timberlake. There's no place I would go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey. Okay, so the weather's a little better now. 
This is the other OA group. Oh, OA. <laughs> something something 57. I don't remember MA which one. 57. Yeah, at that. But uh, that's Peter taking a picture. I'm going to go up. I'll see where everyone else is. That's the mountain behind me at the observatory up there. There's Abe. But I want to get a group photo before we leave. And yeah. So, we'll see. Ow, that was a little jarring. It's a lot of wildflowers, it's pretty nice. It's not at all. Y'all pray for me. Dirty dick is about to go down. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> the big bend. Hey everyone. Why would you make that up? Hey guys. Are we going? On your feet. Yeah, Got this it. is a workout. Yeah. Alright, this is where we're going. That, so. huh? I'm not going to vlog yeah, this part yeah. because it's obvious reasons. Alright. Yeah. That's what we have to memorize for Rocky. Maddie. It's the same song. I only like the Shrek version. I don't like the Shrek version. Yeah. It's the same song. Kid in my music class would not shut up. I mean, and he sang it like every ears. single day. That's why I have to be. That's really bad. You can't even see it. Not terrible. I, I yelled at him one time. Can you pull this real quick? I'm just yelled at him one time. You should have yelled at him like one oh. time per day. Yeah. It, it like was. It was like a. Doing... Wait, was this? Wait, did you take music in high school? I be music. Oh, like, do you actually mistakes. play instruments How or what? Go? What do you do? I didn't have any friends taking that. Is that like? Hey, what did you play? What? Did you play again? Oboe. The didgeridoo. <laughs> you, do, you play oboe? No, she plays the didgeridoo. Dude, so, also, I kind of... No, I really can't play the didgeridoo. Fellow oboists gotta stick together. Yeah. <laughs> do you still play? Yeah. yeah. Really? Everyone Are you gonna join that orchestra? Uh, I don't think I'm Are good enough to Are you looking to purchase one? I have an oboe already. I brought it with me. I think. Alright, I'm gonna turn this off so I can see. Does your band? Uh, professional okay. What are yours, babes? Uh, I have a... 